Hello, my name's Jonathan Landeros, and what we're going to show is a brief, I guess you could say movie-style preview of what uh, the upcoming iLogic technology in Autodesk Inventor is going to do. Uh, now, what the iLogic technology does is it allows us to create rules based on the experience and the culture of our organization. So things that we've learned as an organization over time, we can capture and place in here and make them an interactive part of the model. So it's more of a heads up type of functionality, for example, as opposed to something that has to be relied on on just the memory of uh, a given few individuals in a company, for example. So what we're going to do is we've just got this very simple channel piece that I'm showing in front of everyone. And what that's going to do, we're going to do, is we're going to create a rule that says when you get longer than 25 inches, uh, you needed to create two of these instead of having one long piece that might be 36 inches, for example. And we're going to create a rule that both flags this with a message box and then also actually enforces this piece so it can't be any longer than 25 inches. So to get that started, I'm going to go ahead and go to my Features panel here, choose my iLogic panel bar, and I'm going to start out by adding a rule, and I'm just going to call that rule a length rule right there. Now that goes ahead and brings up my rule wizard and this helps uh, helps me fac facilitate the creation of this rule. It makes things a little easier. I've got my list of parameters right here. Different function boxes for the most common functions I'd be using to create a rule. And then additional syntax options that are going to help me build the rule without having to know exactly what these each of these functions are, what they do, and having to type each and every one of them in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of create a standard update rule just by clicking. And this just says when we run this rule, have Inventor update the part. And that just ensures that any, anything the rule info enforces goes back into the model and is updated and reflected. So the next thing I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to start out by saying if our length parameter right here exceeds 25 inches, then I want iLodge to display a message box. And that message box is going to say for lengths exceeding 25 inches, use two short pieces. And the title is going to be advisory. And when we see the dialog box come up, that'll actually be the, the title of that dialog box. So now what we've done is we've flagged a warning that says you should use two shorter pieces as opposed to long, one, long ones when we exceed 25 inches with this part. However, what we don't have is we have no way of stopping the user from ignoring that rule and continuing on. So our next statement is going to do just that. So I'm going to take advantage of a little bit of Windows functionality in the sense that I'm just going to do a copy and paste. And I'm going to say if my length exceeds 25, then instead of displaying this message box, make our length equal to 25 inches. With that done, I'm going to say OK and accept the rule. Um, now I can go ahead and go back to my part features menu. And things don't look any different than we're used to interacting with Inventor. Still have the same panel, still have the same features. But now let's see what happened when we go ahead and we edit the feature and we try to make a change. So right now this channel is set to 4 inches and I'm going to try to make it 48 inches. Right there. And I'll say OK. And there's my dialog box that warns me and says I need to use two pieces for any length exceeding 25 inches. So if I say OK to accept that, you'll actually see the part shortened. And if I go in with my measure tool and take a measurement, the part is now 25 inches again. So now what we're seeing is that as I go through and I make changes to this part, Inventor is going to give me that warning, and the next thing it's going to do is force that, line, that piece to go ahead and return to 25 inches. If I go back in, I can edit, and I can make this be any length I want under 25 inches, because that's fine, and our rule doesn't, doesn't need to enforce that. We could if we wanted to. But as soon as I try to exceed 25 inches, I get the warning. And it goes ahead 
and brings it back to me. So this is a very, very brief uh, introduction to what iLogic is capable of. You can control things also like materials and uh, different create dialog boxes and so on. So this just uh, scratches the surface, if that. Uh, we will be doing some more events, and uh, feel free to go to kativtech.com and uh, check those out. Have a good day, and thank you for taking a few minutes of your time to watch this.